Nike Terminator High 2022, originally released in 1985. We're going to talk about this shoe, dissect it, and conduct a deep dive. Stay tuned, stay locked. But if you find value with this episode, consider liking, subscribing, sharing the content, and also commenting on this episode of the Nomad Cast here on the Doc Nomad Productions YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and dig into the background. In 1985, Nike introduced the Terminator model. The Terminator is best known to have the same colors as the Georgetown Hoyas men's basketball team. The shoe was released to celebrate Georgetown's national championship in 1984. However, the Hoyas failed to repeat as national champions in 1985. The shoe was also named Big Nike. Now I tell you, I just ended that talking about Big Nike. Let's go ahead and conduct a deep dive on the Georgetown Nikes. Before I get started with anything, ladies and gentlemen, when you see this Georgetown Nike, Big Nikes as what we call them, you're looking at classic, the epitome, classic personified basketball shoe of the early, mid 1980s. This is classic, as classic can get. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to repeat that. This Terminator high top Georgetown Nike is as classic as classic can get. Let's go ahead and start with the uppers. You got a padded upper right up here to protect the ankle. Again, even though back in those days and even now you have a padded upper, you still can twist your ankle, break your ankle. But this was more the cushion. Uh, beautiful thing. A lot of guys back in those days, they played in low top shoes. Never recommended it. Always playing high tops. If you look at the tongue here, right? Traditional Nike tongue, the throat, traditional Nike material. Old school gray shoe strings. The actual uh, proper nomenclature color-wise for this shoe is blue and Osbidian. We call them blue and gray. Traditional Nike toe box with the air holes. This is just old school at its best. Toe box, air holes all over forming that U. You look at the bottom of the shoe. Classic Nike bottom, ladies and gentlemen. Everything about this shoe is classic. You're going to constantly hear me say classic, classic, classic. Why? Because it is. This is classic. Look at the size here. Traditional Nike swoosh. Look at the colors, how they wrap. That blue and that gray. Just a natural mix. Natural mix. In the back here, the Nike. This is why we called it Big Nikes. We call it these suckers Big Nikes. But if you look at this photo here, originally released, the Georgetown Hoyas, they actually had the word Hoyas in the back. And as you can see, I'm paying homage wearing a 1994 Georgetown Hoyas shooting shirt. Shooting as in basketball warm-ups, not the negative shooting. Look at that. Gray insides. Look at the sole. Nice white sole. This is old school, man. Heel tab in the back right here. Never can forget that because Nike is always doing something with these heel tabs. And I am here for it. I loved it. The Nike Terminator, y'all. 1985 original released. And it came out. I actually got these a couple days ago. And I've been wanting these ever since 1985. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect prelude to my nostalgic memory. Now, I will tell you my nostalgic memory with the Georgetown Nikes. Like, we didn't call them Terminators. Again, we called them Georgetown Nikes. I was a huge fan of Georgetown basketball back in the 80s, just like a lot of guys and gals back in those days. And when they brought these jokers out, we was like, yo, because Georgetown home uniform was gray, the road uniform was blue, and this was a perfect match. And they wore this shoe, Nike blessed Georgetown University, with these Nikes, the Georgetown Nikes, because they was already defending champions from 1984. 1985, they lost the championship to Villanova, which was probably one of the greatest upsets in NCAA history, because you had Patrick Ewan on that team, uh, David Wingate, Reggie Williams was on there, powerful Georgetown squad. And I remember watching that game, and I actually cried, because I'm a sucker for repeats. I like dynasties when teams continue to win. And I wanted Georgetown to win. I was a huge Patrick Ewan fan. And I remember crying that night. My grandma was like, what are you crying for? I was like, Georgetown lost and they was wearing the Georgetown Nikes. She had no clue what I was talking about. She said, boy, be quiet and go to bed. I don't even know why you're staying up late watching that mess anyway. 
She ain't get it, but I got it. I'm telling you. Another memory, nostalgic memory with this, a lot of the drug dealers, the B-boys from back in the day, they were wearing Air Force Ones, the Dunks, the Jordans, and what we call the big Nikes, the Georgetown Nikes. They were wearing these with the Levi's and the Georgetown starter jackets, Georgetown hats. It was just a complete set. It was a phenomenal time. Again, these weren't the most uh, positive people. But it was the sign of the times, man. It was the, the 80s, man. This was beautiful. So I have so many nostalgic memories, but those memories I just outlined right here about watching the game, stand up, watching Georgetown, trying to repeat as champions, and watching all the neighborhood alligators, if you will, wearing the Georgetown Nike. This shoe, uh, I know a shoe shouldn't mean a lot to a person, but history-wise, nostalgic-wise, I just think about being an 11-year-old watching these guys and i never had a parody like i said i've been chasing these things uh for years 40 something years not well 37 if you want to do the math but i've been chasing these shoes and i finally got them uh, and that's something i've been doing here lately all the shoes that i didn't get a chance to get back in the days back in the day um i got them now man i'm just thankful i had the means to get them because they, they bring back so many, so many memories, man. Again, if you grew up in that era, you grew up in the inner city, even some folks that lived in the suburbs. If you enjoy basketball, if you enjoy the sneaker culture, hip hop, all that stuff back in the 80s, man, you definitely, that story definitely resonates with you. Much love, much love to Nike for bringing this Joker back out, man freaking love it love it old school baby this is freaking old school baby <laughs> i want to close this episode out another short episode i just want to get to the point get down to the nitty gritty if you will thank you guys for tuning in the subscriptions is blowing up comments are blowing up the likes the subscribes every tiktok supporting on instagram as i use that to generate views and subscriptions and likes and everything um, using YouTube as the vessel. So I appreciate everything. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day. Stay tuned. Stay locked. Remember, you are one of one. You are great. You are phenomenal. Have a great weekend. See you guys next week. Until we meet again, let's say it all together. Trust and believe.